Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel and also welcome back to our Animal Crossing Let's Play. We are once again on Callan today, of course. I mean, what other island would I be on for this? Uh, which is a romantic coastal retreat. So if you haven't seen this island just yet, we're using a bunch of blue, white, and pink. We're trying to create a very calm atmosphere while still giving like everyone a themed area. And today, once again, is going to be a little filler episode, I think. Uh, as I'm running around, I'm just noticing I actually am not in the correct time. It is the 15th of April. I am usually playing this island from like the 1st to the 10th of April just because of the cherry blossom tree. So I'll skip to that in just a second. But before I do that, I just want to quickly show you what I'm going to work on today. So in one of the last episodes, I think actually last episode, we worked a little bit on the beach and the episode before that, um, we worked on this area up ahead. So the cafe. So the storyline is basically that Flurry owns a little cafe. She's basically best friends with Tutu or it's more like a sisterly relationship almost. And they kind of run this cafe together. So uh, this is kind of what we assembled last time. It was a bit of a hassle and it was a bit interesting because I had planned on using these tables and then I swapped them out and then I brought them back. And anyway, this is what we ended up with. This is the current state that it is in. And much like a lot of other areas, like for example, this small space here by the farm and just a ton of other spaces. Um, yeah, I tend to procrastinate filler stuff. So that is what we're going to be tackling today. Uh, so I would say if you are just, if you are like me and you are also avoiding some areas on your island, maybe this is the, this is your sign. Or maybe if you're avoiding cleaning up your room, as much as I hate to say it, maybe this is your sign, uh, which is probably going to be something I do after this episode. I returned from my parents over Christmas. So I visited my parents over Christmas and then stayed all the way through New Year's pretty much. And I got back, I think, on the tw on the 2nd of January. And today is the 9th, just for uh, time frame reference purposes. I'm pretty sure this is going to like air an a week later or so. Um, but like I literally dumped the contents of my suitcase onto my floor. I like cleaned up my bathroom stuff, you know, like I took my little bathroom bag and put all that back in place. But like my clothing, I did not. That one, oh, that one, that like that stuff just landed on my floor and it's been just residing there ever since, which is really not great. So one of my things that I need to tackle today is to clean all that stuff up. Oh, and I just found this diary, so I can't drop it yet. That's okay. I want to actually keep that one though, because it is uh, much more in the color scheme compared to the book that I had in my pockets this entire time. Okay, so as usual, when I decorate filler spaces, I uh, do like to decorate with the no tile left behind approach, which basically just means that every single tile on the main like island has something on it. I don't really follow that same approach when it comes to the beaches because beaches I feel like tend to look a little bit overcrowded when that's the case. But as far as the mainland goes, I actually do like to go by that approach. Uh, it can be a bit much, so I usually do try to balance it with like flowers and shrubs and also just some plain simple weeds here and there. Um, but so yeah, the first step is going to be to get a bunch of flowers. Now, usually I would also say I'm going to put some crops in between. I do like to use like neutral colored crops. Okay, these uh, fossil spots are kind of speaking to me right now. So I also need to kind of grab those. I'll put them in my storage though, because they would just clutter up my pockets. Right. Um, yeah, usually I would kind of use some neutral like uh, farm fillers, like crops as well, because they just add the, to the variety and make it all a bit like, I don't know, more interesting. For this though, I'm not sure because it's very close to the farm section. And so I feel like if there's a farm with like pumpkins or potatoes or whatever, like right next to it, and I'm just continuing to use the, uh, I'm just continue to use those fillers, that might be a little odd. So I think maybe this isn't the best space for that. Um, Okay, I'm going to put away this. I'm also going to put away the peaches and the t coconuts because I'm not going to be needing them for the fillers. Uh, I'll grab or I'll keep the shrubs that I have. And I do need to grab a few items such as, for example, weed fields. But since I do have a lot of spaces still open, I'm going to get like a second a second load of flowers because we're going to need a lot. Uh, this is a romantic island. I mean, I guess I kind of always twist my island themes in a sense that a lot of flowers do make a lot of sense 
in the sense that it makes sense. Great. Um, so, for example, you know, this is a romantic coastal retreat. So we're adding not only the color pink, but also just like a ton, a ton of flowers. Uh, but I do love that. Oh, my God. It's like actually look at this from this moment on. It's like literally aligned with the flowers up ahead. That's a kind of that's kind of satisfying. I'm not going to lie. OK, Lily next. And then what 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 else to complete that pattern a little bit, at least the white hyacinth. I'll do that. Um. I lost my, my train of thought. I was just saying something about the no tell if behind thing or all the flowers. I don't know. But yeah, if you've been here before, I mean, you probably know it. If you've seen one of my islands before, you probably know it. I, I just love to do it for like a few reasons. Number one, I just feel like it looks more like it looks better a lot of times um, because it looks very detailed. I feel like if you if you just put down like the bare the bare things like the 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 main items in an area and then you call it a day oftentimes it can kind of look like that's just the outline of everything it might just be because it's how i usually do it oh my god stop larry's running around with the stick in the plaza oh cute but yeah for me i just i mean if you look at this it's a lot of green i tend to use like a ton of green also just as like neutral fillers if you will um yeah i just i really do like it so we are going to go over to the space that i want to fill but before we do that i will just go ahead and i think time travel so that we can judge the colors a little bit better because some of these trees will actually be green i'll plop down my storage shed over here and I will plop down my, I think it was my workbench over here. There we go. And then I will time travel back to maybe like the 7th of April or something. And um, I will see you then. And there we are. This is actually what the area is supposed to look like. I also went to the 7 a.m. lighting, which is basically what I'm using. And then I can uh, also drop the book, which is very good. And I need to grab a couple of items as soon as I can. I think I'm going to I'm going to hold off on that for just a second so I can plant a couple of flowers and then get grab like a few more things. But I usually do tend to start with like weed fields, for example, or we might also be using some fencing. I was just thinking I do have this white fence right behind Tutu's house and I Ah, the weird thing is I have the same one back here because I do like to do this at the back of the island. Uh, so I don't know how weird it would be if we use the same one. There's another fossil spot. I was just thinking we could try and create a little backyard situation. This is kind of far off into the into the distance, though. I was going to say into the future, into the distance. So maybe I shouldn't worry about it first thing, but it... I don't know, it could kind of be like a little cute backyard situation where we uh, continue this fencing here all the way to flurries so we can put like a clothesline or, or uh, something similar in her backyard. And then kind of that little gap there is also, yes, it's just, it's just like sectioned off, I guess, from the parts in the background. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Now, I guess maybe down here, I would just go ahead and I would use a couple of um, shrubs, aka, oh no, shrubs and weeds. I think since I have like crops and flowers there already, I do not want to overdo it. So I think I'm just going to get started by planting a couple of shrubs. We'll put a dark one right here. We'll put actually something a little bit lighter maybe here, like a tea olive. That one's, I think, good. And then I just have, oh, wait, I have a do double flower here. That's not so great. And then since you can't really see this part, I'm just going to fill it with a weed. I'm not even going to use like a weed field or anything here either. Um, This part here could technically, I kind of want to try that also being like a blue fence. So it's like on both sides of the incline. That also might be weird, but um. Maybe that's also a good way to fill it. All right, and then we'll continue with, I think, a, a, I'm gonna say Plumeria there. Ah, uh, is that the mole cricket again? One of the worst things. One of the worst things in Animal Crossing, the mole cricket, um, along with, what else is that? There's like, there's like weird crickets in, in, like somewhere over here i'm just gonna plant some weeds okay because usually that makes it stop oh was i standing in the correct spot already okay see it stopped great uh this will also for sure be a shrub i'm just planting shrubs now not actually planting any 
<laughs> not actually planting like any flowers. So I'm not really making any room in my pockets, but that's okay. In the end, that's totally fine. Again, I think a lot of this will just be, will just be weeds because you can't really see that. Um, could that be a tree? No, right? That couldn't be a tree either. Uh, and then you'll walk here. That'll be a shrub. And yeah, I don't know. I mean, we'll just fill that with weeds, really. I try to not overthink fillers. I still do a lot of times, which is why I like have to remind myself. But there are, because like I love, I love fillers. I like having my island filled with so much stuff because like I said earlier, I do think it makes it just look more... Uh, more detailed, which kind of makes me happy. I don't know. Um, but I also tend to overthink it sometimes. And then I get like this, um, yeah, I don't know, decision fatigue or like almost like this decorating paralysis, if if you want to, if you want to call that. I feel like that's a weird name to, to say, or like that's a weird thing to say, but it's kind of like fillers can be so daunting that I just sometimes I'm like, oh no, I can't, I can't, I can't play Animal Crossing right now. I can. Okay, let's make this one a blue flower now. So I've got a mum. I've got obviously the hyacinths. Um, I've got the mum, the tulip, and there's a windflower to the left. So we can make this one here a pansy. I haven't used that. And then it kind of peeks out behind it. And then maybe this here could be like something pink. Like a lily or windflower. I'm going to go with the lily maybe. There we go. That one's a lily, and then we're just going to make this one here a custom design. Maybe even just the rocks that I've got underneath the storage shed. Or like the, what is it called? Storefront. The storefront building. And then we will place the wooden box back down over here, which I think we can also put something on top of that. Like a watering can, maybe. I'm going to see if I have a cute watering can, maybe. Um, and check how many tiles I've got open, because maybe I can grab just like a pair of wheat fields. Uh, and probably later on some rocks and more wheat fields, maybe some lock stakes, some fencing. Oh, that's right. Okay, well, if I do this in a smart way, I might be able to grab a few things. So I can grab wheat field, one pair of wheat fields. What color of fence was that in the back there? That was a white one, right? Ah! Oh. Ah, oh, dang it, I forgot that I don't have enough white fence anymore. Okay, well, it's fine. Um, and then what was the other thing? Oh, oh, watering can, watering can. Now, sometimes just because you sit here and you try to like narrate what you do, like, I mean, my brain is forgetful enough as it is, or I might also have ADHD. I don't really know. I don't really have like a di di diagnose, diagnosis. I don't know. Um, it's just, it's just, um, assumption at this point. But like, because you sit here and you try to narrate stuff, you know, sometimes I just, stuff leaves me. Okay, well, you know, it kind of, it really disappears. But we know it's there, right? Which I feel like makes it worth it. So we're gonna, we're gonna leave it. Okay, this was a potential idea for a wheat field. So one goes like here and then one goes like close to the box. Although, ooh, I think, I think that's okay. I was going to say, maybe it also just makes you notice the gapping of the box, but I think it's okay. But also, like, we're going to be left here again with, like, an open tile. Uh, no, we're going to go with it. It's going to be fine. We're going to, we're going to put down, do we think a white flower could work here? We're going to put that down there, and then I'm just going to add a little custom design, like, Something blue, something blue maybe, <laughs> you know? And then the Cosmo directly in front of the Moroccan footrest might not be the vibe, but it might, it might be the vibe. Or let's move it a little bit further down and then just put a weed there. So it, it has like a, a bit distance, a bit of distance. That's better, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot of white in that part, but that's that's OK for me. Uh, this is a little bit of a question mark here. So like this area kind of next to the pathing. The thing is, I like the frame here and I feel like I don't want to I don't want to add like a tall tree or anything here because that would block the house and that would block the other the other. Um, tables. <laughs> 
but it's a like it's a lot of room and i think if i just if i just add fillers here that'll make it somewhat repetitive so i need to kind of think I, okay here are the options either i'll try and make something with like um in-game pathing like a like a weird mismatch like flower situation or i add like a tree stump or something and then just like you know a couple of fillers around that part Maybe that's the best option. I do have a third stage tree with me. Maybe that could work. What is, is that going to be a green one? Yes. So like that would go here because, you know, I don't really love that blocking everything around it, but maybe this just being a tree stump could work. Yeah, maybe that could work. Okay. Well, so we need to grab, uh, let me get rid of the fencing that we can grab a little bit more. This is really, this is really nitpicking and trying to fit everything that I can. So this, actually no, it would go behind the house, right? Because then we don't have any weird gaps. It would go kind of like this. I think it'd be okay though, if we actually do manage to kind of just bring it over and then put trees in around it. Yeah, I want to tempt that. Okay, so I need to grab... Uh, I hope I have the fence customization option on this island because I still don't have it. Actually, no, I unlocked it the other day on my fall island, but that took me embarrassingly long, like it way too long. Okay, so I'll grab more wheat fields. I don't know how many slots I had open. I'll just also grab... I'll grab a leaf pile. I think a leaf pile is a good idea. Okay, two more I I would have had, but it's okay. I can work with this. Um, customize the fence, please. And then we'll go and switch this one to white because I don't really particularly particularly love the blue option because it's just a little bit too... It's a little bit too bright. It's almost a little bit too much into the pastel option, even though it's not a pastel kind of blue at all. Um, but the blue that I've been using has been very, like... I don't know, much, much, much darker. So there's that. And it turns out I wasn't okay with just uh, with two open tiles. So let's get two more wheat fields. Do I go back and forth on what I say? Absolutely. Absolutely. So in terms of a garden, how about we just kind of drag it up to here? And then what we could do is we could just bring it up to the tree. So it literally cages you in. You couldn't like go anywhere else. And then we maybe do the same thing here where, excuse me, it kind of does that. Or, and I'm not sure if this looks good or not, but we can also put a tile like this in front of the tree and then connect that. Oh, that does kind of work. Let's see, that might be okay. That might be okay and then um, potentially this or even a tile further back as part of the fence could be like a green, oh, could be a coconut, could be a coconut or a green tree. Let's make it as part of the fence. Okay. And then let's try and put a coconut, which I'm like 95% sure that I got rid of the coconuts in my pocket because <laughs> I was like, I don't have room for this. Yeah, it turns out I do need it though. Okay, so we got sand pathing. Right, so this will be a fully grown coconut tree and then I'm gonna grab some clotheslines and put them up in front of her house or like uh, in front of the fence as her backyard situation. I think that could be cute. And I hear another mole cricket. You cannot make this up. I did not grab an ax. My pockets are full. This is going absolutely perfectly. Okay, how about we pretend the tree has been chopped, right? So this is where this is where the leaf pile would have fallen. So I'm gonna just put like, you know, leaves, more leaves, and then small little leaves on the side. Or wait, maybe these here. Yep. And then place it. Oh god, let's hope it goes exactly the way that I want it which I'm pretty sure it's not going to go. Did I grab it? I did grab it. 
I mean, I guess so. Well, maybe a tile further back. You know, so it's kind of like here. No. Okay, well, you know, height, okay, but closer to tree. Yeah! I mean, like that. Okay, Mole Cricket is very loud over here. Haven't found it yet, okay. That was it. <laughs> that was it. Ah, oh, the immediate silence. I can't, really. Okay, so we've got a bunch of weed fields in this part. We don't really have... Oh, we don't really have any weed fields here. Okay, well, how about I get rid of this shrub then? And this is a weed field instead. So... This would be one. And then the other one would be... Because this is like on on the tile, right? So the other one would need to be like halfway in front of it. Uh, halfway next to it, like this. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Are there any more uncovered tiles? Just kind of to the right-hand side here. How about this is the hydrangea shrub then? And then, I mean, close to the close to the tree, the chopped tree there. Like, you would have to tilt your camera to see that. So it's going to be a weed. And then this here is going to be like a flower, maybe. This could be like, okay, there's a white mum. And there is the hyacinth farm. Let's make that a tulip. Okay. And then I'll see if maybe there needs to be some more farmy bits right there. But so far, it's so good. Um, I have one more pair of wheat fields. Let's use that before I go grab anything new. Um, I think I want to use that somewhere here. Maybe like halfway in front of this tree where I just got rid of the mole cricket. And then next to the coconut. Uh, I think that's how I wanted it. Yes. That is not how I wanted that. It's like sometimes I literally, I feel so stupid when I realize, but sometimes I like sit up and because I, I want to like look behind a tree. Yeah, we're just not going to mention it, okay? Okay, instead I'm going to switch it up and put it... Ooh. I could also put it here. Here and then here. Like next to the house. Like that. Right? And then this is going to be something blue tend to contrast nicely with like the house and the fence and everything and this here is going to be it's going to be a shrub yeah and then we're going to put more wheat fields maybe towards the front there okay and then i'll grab an axe and two more wheat fields i probably need more on like the right hand side but let's grab two for now and see if we can work in another garden rock and then i feel like that's not i, I there's not that much room left now, but... Ooh, clothesline. Maybe. Don't know if that works, though. Don't know if that works just because of um, the dark brown, like, wooden color that I don't really use on, on here. But we're gonna try. And then maybe some shell items. Maybe some shell items. What's What stuff did I use with the laundromat? Because I think, oh, I used the, the city-esque one yeah i mean we can also use that one all right let's chop the tree one two three Ooh, that was even a little rhyme for you there all right oh should this be a shell partition i just thought of that i just thought that might be nice but oh i forgot the coconuts um but uh, um Maybe it'll also be too big and awkward. Okay, can I shake a coconut tree so I don't have to go to my storage? Or is this a, is that just overcomplicating it? I mean, very, very probably so. Okay, one of them disappeared, but that's okay. I really only need the one. I only need the one coconut tree, or like the, what, the one coconut even, uh, to plant that there and, and just move, move on, you know? Okay, so, <laughs> no, not the axe. There we go. Coconut tree goes exactly into this spot. There we go. 
and then I want to see if maybe this here could be like a cute clothesline, you know? Uh, clothesline. Because I think it could be, but I'm not sure it's going to be this one. Yeah, because the brown, maybe not. I'm not sure if the other clothesline is also only half a tile. I've caged myself in half a tile um, wide. Because my idea was to kind of layer them, you know, we can put this one. Oh my God, where did it go? There it is. Uh, so kind of like this, you know, this or the other way around. We can layer them a little further apart. We need to find some room for some flowers and stuff. But just just for just for a little bit of a of a backyard decoration, this I think should be like a white flower. Not like a mum, maybe. You know, just for fillers there. And then we're gonna do a pink windflower. Um we've got a couple of tiles that can only be code, such as this one. And the one next to her house. So I think I'm just going to add a few leaves, maybe. This one is going to be leaves. And then maybe this one can be something blue. Like the blue fillers that I've got. Like these here. There we go. And then we move this back in. That's the tiles in front of uh, Tutu's place. We still need to get her photo. Right now there's this like weird blue present, which is also throwing me off a little bit. So I'm going to move that out of the way for now. Uh, just drop it over here with my fence and everything. And also my axe I can drop. I'm really working with like limited um, pocket space over here, and it's 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 not great. It is uh yeah limiting I guess as they say. Okay, this back here also relatively unimportant probably. So I'm just gonna do like a shrub, and I'm gonna maybe do something a little bit um, bright white ish. Well, you know. I guess, kind of, kind of. And then this is going to be like a weed and this is going to be a weed. And then maybe this here is also going to be a shrub. Yeah. Not that you necessarily even like go to that left side. Uh, and then maybe we'll maybe we'll also make this one a shrub just so it blocks you from really going there. All right. I'm fine with these being weeds um, and probably this too. I, I would want to add something here. And I think that's something maybe should be a wheat field. Okay, and then maybe towards the right hand side. I don't like that. And then this is just a uh, clump of weed. All right, standing here, I think what I want to do is I want to switch the mum to the front and just make this one a tea olive so it's just a little bit more green in front and then there's more happening towards um no it's more green in the back but like in front of the picture maybe and then this is kind of going to be a little bit more yeah a little bit more yeah i don't know i need to get back into the groove now it's been a while since i've recorded stuff i feel like i said this every second episode but this time you know like there was christmas and new year's eve between recording and now i'm like how, how does that work again how do i i don't know i streamed for the first time again the other day um and i was also kind of feeling lost it's okay though right like it just i feel like that's very normal after the holidays to get back into I don't know, to get back to your job and just be like, um, what now? <laughs> what exactly is it that I do again? I don't, I don't quite know. Okay, let's add a little bit of blue here with the pansy. Yeah, I think that's good. And then I mean, so this here can't be anything planted either, right? Okay, so what we need to do is we need to grab this and pull it to the front so that I can add some code here as well which i think maybe also just some leaves so we don't overdo it with the codes in that part or like we keep them like low-key enough so it doesn't feel like oh my god she just, like slapped a code on every tile because sometimes i do think it can kind of feel like that with the no talent behind i think that's what you kind of need to be careful with okay suddenly i ended up on the farm 
Uh, don't really see like a garden rock anywhere, so I might grab that opportunity and put one like right here. So that I have a bit of a different something happening instead of just flowers. So, oh wait, this here could be a garden rock. And then maybe we can just drop like a shell on a puddle. I always forget about drop stuff, but that might be cute here. And then this will just be a clump of weed. And maybe this here be, will be like a lily of the valley. So it's a bit of a different shape of flower, but it's still kind of a flower. Um, What type of shell do I want to drop there? I guess something like gray, gray white, not the blue one. And I also want to see if I can grab the shell partition uh, and see if that looks good behind the table that we've got in the center. So there's the partition. And then let me grab a conch. Oh, look, a singular conch. It's like meant to be, she says, and then puts it down and hates it. Watch. Watch me hate this. No, I don't. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. This is maybe like a tiny bit too... I feel like there's not really anything happening there with the little clover thing, but I also think that's okay. Um, you know, we're, we're just trying to make this appear somewhat filled, and I think it is, and I think that's, that's fine. All right, so we still have a few tiles here, but once again, I think you don't really see them too much from the front, so... I wouldn't really necessarily bother with them. Yeah, that's okay. And then here was the potential shell partition. I don't know if this is going to work. So kind of... Kind of like that. I kind of like that. It might be a little random. I kinda, you, can, you can kind of use the tree stump of the chair. It's also very... <laughs> Oh my god. I saw I saw some of you in the comments also being like, why why does like why does Nintendo do that and the chairs are so far away from this? It's just it's just comedy at this point, you know? Yeah, I like that. Okay, can I get away with just using the broken tiles under this twice? Like this here? Because I think uh, if I can, I will absolutely go ahead and do that. And then we've got a little bit of something interesting happening here in the center, but I also think it's not too much. That it like upsettingly enough like block stuff i think i think that's okay you know and it makes sense to have a, sh a partition kind of by this table so there's maybe a little bit of privacy you know that's good that's good you can still run everywhere i mean this is going to be a shrub so we're gonna have to check this part here if it's like annoying to run around but i think so far so good um Okay, flowers. Um, in terms of distribution, I think there should just be one there, maybe. I don't know which one, though, because I feel like we're everything's going to be very doubled. Uh, what we could do is we could switch, we could switch this blue and pink one, and then do like a pink one in that open spot that we just got. So this is going to be the blue pansy, right? Blue pansy and pink lily, I think I had like that. Okay, how about this being like a pink hyacinth? I haven't used like a blue hyacinth either. Hmm. Not the best. Maybe the pink one needs to go here. And then the white one just needs to kind of go here. You know, and then this is just this is just two weeds. Because why not? Two different ones, preferably? Mm-hmm. Always works out. Okay, and then, like, another one here? I don't mind there being, like, a few weeds in this part. Like, that's not... That's not the worst. Or maybe something dropped again. We do have a shell here, and we do have a shell kind of close. Oh, should we drop, like, a coin? You can drop like a coin, you know, because this is a cafe. Maybe someone just dropped a little bit of cash. That's an option. Oh my god, please. <laughs> Give me a different weed. Thank you. It's a hundred bells. And that's just going to be dropped right here. Drop. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's okay. And then this here is going to be a flower, I think. I don't want that to be a blue hyacinth now, but I can because I've just used the pink one there. Would this also work as a windflower? <laughs> ah, I love switching individual flowers just because... Oh, no, not the blue one. Just because there is one, like, same flower in close vicinity. Vicinity? Ah, yeah. Never gets boring, you know, never gets boring. These two are kind of very same-ish. But we're going to go with it. We're going to fill it up. We're going to see this area come together. And we can always go back and switch that if we don't like it. Okay, but so we got a little bit of blue in the area. That's nice. Mm hmm. How about a tulip here? Maybe we can get away with this being a shrub. Like maybe a hydrangea. And then this could just be another another weed. Sometimes I really miss using like glowing moss on this island. I think glowing moss makes everything a little bit easier because it gives you like another amazing filler to use, but I I don't use it at all on this on this island because it's not really a magical one. And sometimes I not gonna lie, I kind of I really miss it. Okay, pink mum. And then I just had the idea of using even more fencing there, but that's probably very awkward. But just as like a backdrop for the for the cash register, you know. It's probably not going to be cute. Vertical board fence. Especially because it's like the, the same one. No, actually, I kind of like it. Actually, I kind of like it. Okay, yeah, let's go with it. Let's go with it. Why not? Why not? Uh, let's try and make this here into some codes also. I do use um, the table on like half the tile. I'm going to go with the broken tiles also. That might work. And then is this a full on tile? Can I make this into a white flower maybe? Like, what else do I have? I've got, oh, maybe a lily. I feel like a tulip or a mum would be better, but I've used, oh, I can go with the hyacinth. Yeah, let's go with the hyacinth. I've got three of those left still. And I haven't customized the I haven't customized that table, which I could also do. Mm. I'm trying to go with the same pattern that I've got on the umbrellas, like that striped one. I could also go with the white one, though. I didn't I didn't mind the white tablecloth, but again, I think that was that last episode. Yeah, that was last episode where it was kind of like I sometimes I feel like I can't leave things in their initial customization. OK, how pretty are these? Very, very pretty. Can't use them though because they're not the correct color scheme. But so this would be the one, right? There's still a lot of white, but there's like a little bit of blue also, which I don't have too much of in this uh, in this part. So might be just the thing I need. It might be exactly the wrong way. Also, I think my hyacinths are in the same on the same tile. I think it's OK. It's not upsetting. Like it's it's just it's just right, maybe. OK, hyacinths are in the same, literal same tile. I'd rather, honestly, I'd rather put that here closer to the other hyacinth, but not have them on the same tile. I don't know if that's weird, but I'd rather do this than have them in the same line of vision, I think. And then you were my homemade cake. And then there's like an open tile behind the shrub. That's great. Thank you, past Maline. Okay, let's honestly bring that even further to the front, like here. That's very far to the front. Yeah, let's put that back and then go with two weeds here. Um, I think we're still missing a little bit of blue. I think we could probably add, probably add some blue like here. That's a shrub, but so this could be a windflower. Yeah, that's good. And then I think I kind of want to have one like there, like here. 
That could be a blue windflower. This will just be like a weed behind the tree. Or actually, you kind of see it a lot. That could also be a shrub. Let me just check this one. We've got... Okay, we've got a stunted tree. And then um, we're going to do a tea olive. Yeah, and then let's switch that to a azalea. Still like, it's still like a soft, soft shrub, I guess. Um but it will just be like a bit more coverage. Okay, that's good. I don't mind this being a weed here. These were probably for mole crickets, let's be honest. There's kind of a lot of white here. Maybe we can switch this to a pink one. A pink uh, lily. Yep. Cause like the Moroccan footrest is like more behind the table, you know? That might work out. And then here we can put the lily of the valley and then a weed. And then this here will be something, I think. Is that the same tile as that? It is, okay. We should definitely have something here behind the signpost, behind the like dessert sign thing. Maybe even a shrub. Not something too dark, like maybe like this. Or we can also wait. Okay, I have not used weed fields on this right hand side. And then I still got a couple of weird spots open like here. I'm just going to go in and do like a few weeds. I feel like, I don't know, I don't want to overdo it with the weeds, but they do also help like not overwhelm an area sometimes, I think. So maybe they're just the right thing to use. Same thing here. Like, I think a weed field would be too much there. I might just want to put a shrub in this part. I don't know if something dark would be great. Let's try. Yeah, you know what? I think this would be a good moment for like a, a weed field, actually. I don't, I barely have anything. I've literally emptied almost all of my, like my entire pocket. And I did, I did grab a few weed fields. So I probably, I probably did use an entire pocket full of stuff already. It goes... It goes by so quickly, I swear. Uh, weed field, weed field, yes. And then I don't really have that many left, so I'm just going to order a couple more. Uh, I was just thinking maybe like a box where Flurry's house is, where that empty spot spot was. And W, very bottom. Weed field in pale green, please. And make that five separate orders, please. Because I need, I need more than I like to admit. I've never actually like counted the weed fields that I've used. I feel like that would be interesting. Like if I ever flatten an island, I should really count the weed fields that I've used. Because <laughs> I think that could be a little shocking. Okay, so I guess we'd make this one a weed field. And then this one kind of close to the dessert thing. Mm, maybe just some leaves, right? Let's not overwhelm this. And put the wheat field right there. Yep, it's like a tiny gap there, but that's okay. Still not a fan of this one. Like, I don't mind the coin. I think we can leave that, but I just don't love those two being so close together, I think. I was just thinking this here could maybe be like a paper bag. I need to check if I've got a paper bag and then we could just put that on half tile as though someone, you know, was shopping and then put it down as they were like enjoying a treat or something. And then we don't have to worry about like any double flowers and such. Do I have, oh, I have one. I have one paper bag. I just ordered five items though, so I can't order new ones, but like, Probably with the customization, I'm just going to check out the general placement first. <gasps> yeah. Yeah, I like that. Okay, something maybe light blue flowery. I've got an idea. I need to see if I like it, though. Uh, let's please customize something and then let's turn that sturdy paper bag into... Into... Uh, da -da -da. This here? I was thinking, 
I think this one is not the right shade, and I feel like, yeah, I like this. Let's try the let's try the little daisy print. That's actually really cute. Maybe that can be like used a little bit more towards the Able Sisters. So maybe that's like Able Sisters merch or something. <laughs> okay, here is the sturdy paper bag. Cute. Yes. I say that's cute. Yes. Okay. So let's see if we can fix these couple of, of spots also. There's a shrub behind the tree. There's like weed fields here, I think. Um. Honestly, this here could be a shrub and then I feel like we can we can use. Oh, yeah, let's put the hydrangea here. We should use like wheat field somewhere. Somewhere next to this. OK, how about like here? I was going to say behind the. I was going to suggest behind the coconut, but then I think I would have layered them exactly like the other two. And so close together, I I don't know. I'd feel weird about that. I think I'd notice probably no one else. We're always we're always the most critical of our own islands and such. Ooh. I mean not a bad not a bad like start. But you can see the sky. And I don't like that. <laughs> like weird gaps between things just kind of drive me nuts. So I kinda of try and yeah. Not have those too much. Because now like there's this gap between the weed field and the hardwood there. We can plant something in front to make it better, but I don't know if it's enough, though. Maybe this? Maybe this and the hydrangea will literally go... Wait, no, we used it. Um, In that case, I'll just use a new shrub. Whatever, you know? I don't need that one. Yeah, and then we're going to use, like, a, a flower. Let's do, like, a mum here. Uh, and then a clump of weed next to it. And then this can be another shrub as well. Like a dark one maybe. With a flower to the front. This could be something nice in pink or blue. I'm gonna try pink. I'm gonna try using the ones that I still have. You know? And then this here can also be a flower. I'm gonna attempt to make this the lily. Maybe this is fine. There's a shrub placed behind this. There could be something next to this, which this could be something blue. Um, maybe a pansy. Because I've used the, I've used the uh, hydrangea. Sorry, I keep, I don't know why I do this. Hyacinth and hydrangea, sometimes I literally have to sort it in my brain first before I say it out loud because they're so, they're so similar to me in my brain. Or this is the hydra. Uh, this is the the pansy. Oh my god. Okay, now we're getting off track. Now stuff's happening that I can't explain. Um, and then this here is ah, that should be something blue. But we've got a windflower here. We've got the pansy then towards the front, and the hyacinth right there. Okay, maybe this has to be like a different a different pink one then. Maybe everything has to be different. Um, no, but the mum is pretty perfect over there. Yeah, I like the mum here. Okay, maybe those two mums are okay. So we've got like the white and the pink mum like relatively close together, but um, I think I think that'll be fine. And then now we can use like a blue hide hyacinth. Gosh. All right, and I still have a few more tiles open. How about this is one of those pond stones? Oh, wait, but the other pond stone is kind of close. Oh, okay, well, it's here. That's kind of a, that's kind of far away, right? I still haven't used the blue flower. <laughs> I keep talking about it, but I still haven't used it. But I mean, I, I can... I can put the blue one like here and here maybe. Okay, let's do that. Let's go grab, uh, we'll, we'll put a coat underneath this and then we'll go grab a blue hyacinth and a blue pansy, I think the other is that we need. 
And then we're gonna put that in and then I think we're gonna time travel and get all these shrubs to grow and then see like if that's okay. If this is like an okay level of flower coverage. Can I use something that I still have? Oh my god, how do I have both uh, highest and leftover that are like not the blue ones? Oh god, I need to, I think I need to take a break. <laughs> The commentary, mm, great. Ah, uh, fillers. Sometimes it's like it's like hard to hard to really. Mo I was gonna say moderate. I don't know, but it's it's kind of hard to chat throughout like fillers just because it is so repetitive and it's always just like ooh, this flower and this shrub and this that and this here and I don't know. But. I do believe that a lot of you use it let's play to uh i don't know have it run in the background as you work on your own island and i feel like in that case it might truthfully be fine i might be overthinking this because i do tend to do that i do tend to overthink quite a bit so there's that okay and you are a pansy all right and with that with that with that I can also turn one of these into a pansy instead. You know? How about this? No. Something taller is quite nice. And I don't want to use the hyacinth because I have it very close. Very close by already. So let's see. You go back here. And then I need to think about how I'm going to do the, the uh, lake pathway because... In this case, like, you know, close to the cafe, you don't really go there any anywhere. Oh, by the way, that was the spot where I thought about a wooden box with something on top, but I don't think so, right? I feel like it would end up being the same height as the table, and that's not good. Honestly, I think we're going to get another Lily of the Valley. But before I do that, let's go and time travel like two days. Uh, all the shrubs should be grown in and then we can look at this part and see if we like it or if there's something that we feel like we need to switch out. So I will see you in two in-game days. Oh my god, look at how cute Daisy looks. Oh, <laughs> with the glasses. That's adorable. All right. Ooh, okay. No, I think I like that. I mean, going into that area, oh, sorry, going into that area just with the filler stuff there it looks a lot different already. That is so much better. Okay, I think I like this. I think I like this. I like all this part over here. Um, and I think I like the start of this idea also with kind of the, I mean, do you really need to block this part off? Probably not, but I think it, it's not the worst idea. Feel free to give me feedback whether I should do this as a T fence or just kind of make it go straight up towards the tree or not. Um, and also, of course, any any other thoughts and ideas that you have. Um, I think as far as fillers go, though, I'm perfectly happy with this. Um, we've got a little shell partition here. There's a little drop coin. We could also move this over somewhere else. Maybe we'll move that here now. Now that I've I've switched the Cosmo around, I feel like there's a little bit too much in that one spot. And instead, I'd rather have it like here, maybe. I'm just going to go and get the 100 bells. Oh, yeah, my weed fields also arrived in the post. So there's that. <laughs> and then this here is just going to be another um, another leaf code, I think. Yeah, so kind of like this. All right. And then also this part is filled. The only thing that is still not filled. Um, oh, the fence. Right, the fence I want to try out. But yeah, we do have a couple of tiles just in front of this little shed situation. And then we do have the open tiles in, uh, like in Flurry's backyard. Uh, and then obviously the entire like lake path. But I don't know. I also just had the idea of maybe like using just one type of flower around the lake. So it's kind of like the, I don't know, this flower like specifically grows around the lake. I don't know if that's weird though, since up until that point, I've used like all of them throughout. But yeah, because otherwise, I mean, that'll just be, that'll just be kind of like any other area. 
you know, or does or is this like maybe the white like we'll just use white and blue hyacinth or something from the lake like outwards. OK, I kind of have a nice picture in my head now, so I feel like maybe we need to try that. <laughs> um, OK, and then the one thing I did want to see is the simple wooden fence here. I don't know if that'll look good on the side of the of the incline like that, though. Or if that's going to be weird, maybe a little weird. Let's put a shrub here instead. Maybe just one fence is better. Yeah, maybe one fence is better. Actually, we're not going to do a coat underneath. OK, and I feel like that will be the process for today. I think this might have also been quite of a long episode. Um, it's starting to be quite laggy on this island, but I mean, I didn't expect anything else to be fair. Uh, and so there's that. But the frame, the frame looks quite cute, I would say. Uh, I had lots of fun. I hope that you also did. I hope you uh, were able to either just relax or also be productive, whatever you set out to do today um, in the next episode. So I will make sure to record a little bit of art hunting, museum completing. So either that will be the next episode or I also might sit down to tackle kind of Flurry and Tuju's interior in one of the upcoming episodes. So kind of we make our way like around the island, but whatever we've tackled is like actually fully done. So um, I hope that sounds exciting. Regardless of that, let me know your ideas or like your thoughts about the lake idea with the specific flowers that also might be in one of the next episodes. And yeah, make sure that you are subscribed so you don't miss those. And then thank you all so much for watching today. And I hope that I see you next time. Bye, everyone.